any other things we got, you know, the kids of model us, we, we don't want to make it too easy for them. I hope the parents are taking notes on this because I'm taking notes. Y'all need to be taking notes like I am. So what else we got? Uh, you have a big one uh, that I was guilty about it is watching our kids practices. Uh, that's a, a mustn't a thing that you don't have to do to watch the practice because there they create the bonding with the coach and, and with the other, the, the other mates, you know, and if you are there, that chemistry won't happen. Mm. They, they, they try to please you and they are being pressured by you. So uh, I think that if you have to, to, to give them a ride to a practice, you can read a book, you can be in another place or go for a walk, but not being there watching every detail because after that practice, you're going to share every insight with him or her. And they don't want to listen to you. Oh, that's a good point. And I'm thinking about what times when I was a coach. Maybe this is just in my experience. It seemed like the dads were the ones who wanted to watch the practices the most, uh, where the moms would be more. They would sit in the bleachers, but you could tell they were not paying attention. They were doing other stuff. Where I had to run dad, dad and we were baseball. I had to run dads off the field before. Y'all need to get off the field. I don't need you here. I got coaches. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe women ha learn to handle better. Than, than men. Uh, for example, my mom was there and, and she didn't say a word, you know, and my dad was kind of more pushy. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe female can handle better that, that thing. But it's, it's a big thing. And unless practices in matches, we have to be there to, to, to support him or her. And in that case, we have to be very aware of our body language because it happened, it happened to me that when my kid was playing, I, I was kind of afraid because I knew when he was going to win or when he was going to lose. And we transmit the, the way we feel, you know. So being a, having a, a good posture and good body language is key in, in tournaments. I think, uh, Hernan, when I, I think about the two kids that I have had that have completed their athletic, youth athletic uh, careers, my daughter being a swimmer probably got less input and less for, from the family because that's such a, you know, we never watch practices there. We drop them off. I mean, it was kind of boring to watch practices, to be very honest with you. But my <laughs> son, because I was a baseball player growing up and I was his coach for a lot of the times, he got a little bit more of, of me and, um, you know, he could hear mom or me at, at games, you know, cheering or, or giving instructions when we shouldn't give. But my daughter said she never heard us, you know, at, at all, even though, you know, my wife might cheer as loud as she could. She couldn't hear her in the water. She was just swimming. So I'm wondering, I, I can see that those problems that we had, you know, don't watch their practices and, and don't make it too easy. Um, there definitely was some differences on the ways we raised these two athletes. 